So the tracer X data, I think, are important because it helps elucidate the underlying molecular basis for how lung cancer in never smokers starts. We've been interested in, for some time um, around the associations of air pollution with lung cancer. Now, up until now, they've been associations, not causation. So we were keen to test the association and look into the causative mechanisms. And in three approaches, we find there's a very close correlation between PM2.5, these 2.5 micron particulates, and risk or incidence of non-small cell lung cancer with EGFR mutations that commonly occurs in never smokers. Secondly, we show in three different animal models the ability of air pollution to promote lung cancer. And thirdly, we elucidate the underlying mechanistic basis by showing that macrophages and epithelial cells release IL-1 beta in response to air pollution. And that causes transdifferentiation, we think, of epithelial cells into a progenitor-like state that ultimately is endowed with progenitor potential if that progenitor cell harbors an EGFR or KRAS mutation. Now the twist to this is that EGFR and KRAS mutations are present in normal tissue very commonly. In about half of biopsies of normal tissue, we find these mutations present. So taken together, this conforms to the Isaac Berenblum tumor promotion model first published in 1947, and recently over the last two decades elaborated by Alan Balmain which postulates that you need an initiator, which is the mutation, and a promoter, which is the pollutant, to drive the nascent cancer clone to evolve.